Alright, here we go. Another episode. Kim and Daryl here. Coming to you from South Louisiana. Got a few changes coming up. Is what we talked about in our last episode. We made it through Hurricane Nate. Relatively safe and sound. A little bit of high water, but no big deal. But things are changing. Things are changing in the climate. Things are changing in America. Things are changing with us. Things are changing with us. So come on back. We've got some stuff we want to talk to you about. Get your opinion. Are you ready? You ready? So say, we have some changes. You ready to talk about the good news? Yeah. Say, I like the good news. Huh. All right, everybody. As most of you know, and some of you don't, go back and look at some of our past videos and catch up. We've been back here in South Louisiana uh, for almost a year now. Uh, Way we, too long. We came back uh, to help out some family members uh, get back on their feet. Had a little uh, health uh, issues, but... Uh, we think we got most of that stuff straightened out now, so we're starting to plan for the future. Thanks for all your prayers and everything yep. else. We really appreciate it. Yep. So uh, now we're looking for a future. And because of this uh, issue with the, the health with the family, it kind of made us think a little bit. Uh, we're not old, but we're getting up there. So we're thinking about before things happen, we've discussed this before. We need to start knocking some of the things off the bucket list. Why we can. Uh, you've always heard it before. You wait too late, you don't get to do it. That's right. So, uh, Kim and I did some really serious thinking this last year um, of what we wanted to do, what were some of our big goals that we wanted to accomplish uh, in the next couple of years. And one of those is... Uh, of course, spending time in the RV, cruising America, the Northwest, being able to spend some time with my family up in the Northwest in Washington State, which we really enjoy. I love it up there. Can't wait to get back up there. Uh, but also, we've always had the uh, yearning to go out and go down to the Bahamas and the Caribbean and uh, the Exumas and stuff like that. So we thought long and hard about it, and, and we've discussed this over, well, since I've ever uh, known Kim. In fact, since 2011. When, when I came down here uh, after Katrina, I almost thought about living on a boat because there was no houses, no apartments, nothing to live on. But I didn't. So this is one of the things that we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to get us a boat start the process again actually we really have looked since I've known him since 2011 we have been looking at boats yeah we actually looked at boats more than we had looked at RVs yeah. but because we had the class A that I had it just made sense that we took Betsy and went traveling and we're glad we did but now we're getting to the point where uh, fuel is cheap uh, we want to get out there uh, go see some of the spots while we can still walk around, our knees are good, our backs are good, our heads are good, you know, and we're not completely broke. That's so, for a couple of years. So that's our goal. Now I know some of you are going to be saying, well, now you're following the winds, you're following Technomadia, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, like they say, they've been looking for boats for a long time. It's just when opportunity comes, you've got to take it. And you got to make things happen, right, right. Kim? And we're not doing a sailboat thing. We're not doing any of no, that. <laughs> we're not doing sailboats. We're going to do trawlers. All right. Uh, we don't. We've watched about every video that's out there that has anything to do with sailors, uh, sailboats, or trawlers. And we're going to go do the slow uh, motor yachts or what they call trawlers. So in the coming videos, we're going to take you along with us and show you what is the process of buying a boat from getting in the car and driving 
miles and miles to go look at them, to be in disappointed, to be happy, but then be disappointed again. Uh, brokers that sell boats, uh, Craigslist, we can yeah, go on uh, and on. So if you ever thought about buying something, uh, whether it's an RV or whether it's a boat, we think these videos coming up is really going to be good for you to show you the ins and outs of it. Yeah. So, uh, we hope that you'll watch us. It's going to be some new adventures. We're still going to do the RV thing. Yes, we are. Still going to show you a bunch of the stuff with the RV, but we're just more. We're we're gypsies. We're nomads. We don't like to stay in one spot too long. I don't know. I can't explain it to you. For you folks out there that are watching that are, are doing this lifestyle, you know exactly what we're talking about. Or for you folks out there that are wanting to do this, you know you've got the itch to get out there and do it. And I've just been that way all my life. Kim has too. So. No, I haven't been that way all my life. Daryl's kind of made me that way. <laughs> yeah. But I do enjoy it. So that's it what we want to do while, while we have our health and... Uh, I don't see any reason why yeah. we can't. This last year, I worked pretty hard, uh, night and day, to save up a bunch of money again. He to, actually did work night and day. To allow us to do this. So, uh, in the coming videos, we're going to show you some things of what we did, uh, how we did it, how you can uh, get the money to do this stuff, um, the financing, the, the cost of surveys. It, we hope it's going to be real educational. Uh, hopefully it'll be a step-by-step -step process that somebody else can look at. Of course, this is going to be how we do it. You may do it differently. But we looked at so many videos out there and really didn't see a, a video a channel out there on trawlers that really showed you the process. Now, there's some good ones out there, and we'll go into them later. Again, uh, Chris and Shree with Technomadia, they're doing their thing, and, of course, the winds. And there's a couple of other ones. But that's our news. We're, so we're gearing up. Uh, we're going to go on the boat shopping deal. We're going to take you along, uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. I guess you'll be the judge of it, whether anybody watches the videos or not. But we're going to give it a go. I got some new toys uh, for this upcoming season. This will be season six. And, Is it uh, really? This will be season six. So time flies, folks. And the longer you wait, the closer you come to the end of the clock, the way I look at it, because we're not given tomorrow, which we have found out. Uh, over the last year so we decided we're just going to do this if we fail we fail if we don't no harm no foul what do you think i think that's what we're going to do what do you think of it from a woman's point of view i think it'll be nice but i still want to be able to come back and be here we're going to have another grandbaby next month yay yep a little girl so we want to we want to see that and i mean you know i want to make sure that we come back a lot so that we can see the grandkids and everything because we have two of them now we have well we're going to have two we have a little boy and a little, little girl going to be born next month so that's very important to me and but going and doing things is important too so yeah we're going to kind of show from the guy's point of view from my point of view and from ken's point of view for if there's any couples out there watching you kind of look at each other and the wife goes, wow, I don't know if I want to live on a boat or, or if I don't know if I want to live in an RV. Because face it, guys, if the wife doesn't want to go or going to be happy, you're not going to be happy and you're not going to go. So you got to figure out a way to, to uh, have the, the better half wanting to go and be part of the experience. At first, I was not on board with this at all. So, you know, you got to, you got to do that. And that's what we're going to show, the, the give and take, the, the what's going to... Uh, it take to make certain individuals happy in order to make this experience happen but just like we have said before if you want something bad enough you'll find a way to make it happen and that's what we're doing uh, you may not only like it for six months you may like it for a year you may like it for the rest of our life but we know we want to do this we right. want to give it a try and that's what we're going to do we like the sun we like the ocean yep. but then we love the mountains so i mean it's the best of both worlds we can yep. do both and i mean yep. how many people could actually say they can spend six months in the mountains and six months at the ocean i mean right what a, and it may what be, a great life and it may be only three months and three months and we might have to work, work six, six months, months to get right. more money exactly so it, it, it's all relative to what it is it, as the saying goes it takes money to make money and 
it takes money to travel. So if you think you're going to do it for free, that ain't uh, happening. Ain't happening because <laughs> there's not too many WalMarts out there in the, in the Caribbean that we know of that allows uh, overnight boat parking. No. But anyway, we just want to break the news. Also, uh, just to let everybody know, the channel is going to be changing. We're going to change the name. Yep. We're not just going to be RV Adventure TV. What are we going to name it, Kim? We came up with, you let us know what you think. We na we're changing the name to Some Days Here. Yep, Some Days Here. That's going to be the name of the channel. So if you see uh, something in your subscriptions that say Some Days Here, who are these people? I didn't subscribe to them. We're actually going to change the name to RV Adventure TV to kind of be a broad perspective of, hey, some days here. We're doing it full time. We need, Everything's going to be. Yeah, you know, we're not waiting any longer. It's going to be traveling you know, everywhere, doing always everything. Putting everything off, you know, ah, oh, someday, ah, oh, someday. Yeah. We'll do this, I'll oh, do it next year. And then all of a sudden something happens that you can't, and then I'm not going to look back and say, well, we should have done it. Should have done it. So, some days here. Still going to be Stop the Madness. Start the adventure. It's going to be some days here. Princess says, yep, we got an adventure coming. Yep. Princess is going to love this, huh, babe? Yeah. So we hope everybody's on board with us. Give your comments below. Thumbs up. Share Tell the video. Tell us what you think about it. Stay tuned. I know there's a lot of people out there uh, that, that are interested in this. There's a lot of good channels out there. So if you got any suggestions or comments, let us know. But uh, we're really looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the process of getting everything, getting the boat, going yeah. through all that, and then of course Kim fixing up the boat uh, and making it and putting the woman's touch on it. Not just a crusty old salty sailor. No, it's not going to be that. So day. it's going to be nice, and we're going to fix it up that we can live on it full time on the boat. And then it'll go through well, all the process. Six months and, we're and do then it. six months here. Right, but we'll be living on it full time. We're not going to be just going over there to visit on weekends. So um, we hope you come aboard with us. We hope you uh, comment. Make sure you subscribe down below if you don't. And again, uh, check the channel uh, for some days here because you won't be seeing RV Adventure TV. We're gonna rename it and hopefully we won't have any issues. I guess we'll find out here shortly. I haven't changed it yet, but it's gonna happen this week. And then pretty soon we'll, we'll come back and tell you, you know, like what size we're looking for, what we're motor-wise, um, you know, the things that we're actually looking for that the boat's got to have on it for us. Yep, we're gonna show we you the process. we don't want a little bitty trawler boat. We want a big boat. Yep. So we'll, we'll figure it out. We're going to step yeah. by step, and we're going to take you all along with it. It's going to be what it's going to be. So we hope you enjoy it. Yep. But anyway, stop the madness. Start the adventure. Some days here. <laughs>